You've seen the movies, the sleek spacesuits, the slow motion floaty walks, the dramatic helmet removals followed by heroic sacrifice. Space looks cool, right? Peaceful, silent, majestic, like a cold starry yoga retreat. Wrong. Space is not your friend. Space is the most aggressive, instant, no-chill death trap imaginable. It's like Mother Nature decided, I'm done with subtlety. Here's vacuum, radiation, and explosive decompression. Good luck, meatbag. So what actually happens if you step into space without a suit? Can you hold your breath? Will your blood boil? Spoiler, it's worse than you think, and it's fast. Let's get right into it. Number eight, you can't hear yourself. Scream space is silent, not library at closing time. Silent, I mean truly silent. No air equals no sound waves, so if you screamed in space, no one would hear you. Not because they're ignoring you, but because physics literally won't allow it. Which makes it all so much more terrifying. You could be dying dramatically. Boiling saliva, exploding lungs, cosmic UV rays turning your insides into radioactive pudding. And all of it would happen in complete, echoless silence. It's like a horror movie, but someone hit the mute button. Even if someone were nearby, unlikely, and wanted to help you, doubtful, they wouldn't hear you screaming, OPEN THE AIRLOCK! They'd just see your panic face and your jazz hands of despair. That also means if something exploded in space next to you, it wouldn't make a sound. Your body would get ripped apart by pressure shock, not the booming explosion Hollywood promised. So yeah, space is trying to kill you, but it's doing it quietly, like a polite murderer in a soundproof room. Comforting, right? Number seven, space will mummify you. So let's say, purely for science, your body ends up just floating in space. No recovery, no re-entry, just you and the stars for the next million years. What happens? Well, welcome to cosmic corpse preservation. First, you'll freeze slowly, because again, no air, no instant popsicle effect. But once the freezing hits, you'll become a vacuum-dried space mummy, perfectly preserved like a tragic astronaut raisin. No bacteria, no fungi, no insects, because space is super clean, too clean, creepy clean. Your body won't rot like it would on Earth because decomposition requires microbes. And unless you packed some particularly resilient bacteria in your gut, those little guys are not vibing in zero pressure and extreme cold. So your body just hangs there forever. Floating, judging, orbiting, probably becoming a footnote in a future alien biology class. Now, if you drift too close to a planet with an atmosphere, then things get spicy. Literally, you'll burn up on re-entry, leaving behind a streak of oops and a few confused meteor watchers. But if not, you'll remain out there, a quiet, icy monument to all the ways space tried to kill you in under a minute. Congratulations, you're now part of the universe's weirdest display case. Number six, the radiation will microwave. Your DNA, while you're busy floating unconscious, puffed up like a space marshmallow with boiling spit, there's another fun invisible force creeping in, cosmic radiation. Earth has this great feature called the magnetosphere, which blocks a huge amount of dangerous radiation from the sun and other cosmic sources. But once you're out in space, especially without a suit, you're exposed to all that unfiltered solar and cosmic radiation, like a steak left on the grill with no timer. This isn't like getting a sunburn. This is like your DNA turning into alphabet soup because cosmic particles just bullied their way through your cells. You won't feel it immediately, but if you somehow survive long enough to make it back to Earth, congratulations, you may now be eligible for the superpower of massive cellular damage and aggressive cancer risk. Also, your retinas can get zapped by radiation so badly that astronauts have reported seeing random flashes of light while trying to sleep, like a cosmic rave inside your eyeballs. But fun fact, without a suit, you'd probably be dead before your eyes had time to throw a party. So yes, space is out here microwaving your DNA like a biology-themed horror film, and no amount of sunscreen is going to help. Number five, you'll freeze. Eventually, here's a common space myth that you'll instantly freeze the second you leave your spaceship like a popsicle dropped into deep space. That's not quite how it works. And weirdly, the truth is way creepier. In space, there's no air to conduct heat away from your body. So despite the fact that the background temperature is close to absolute zero, you won't immediately turn into a human icicle. Instead, your body loses heat very slowly through a process called radiation, which is much less dramatic than it sounds. It's like trying to cool down by staring intensely at an ice cube. It works, eventually. 
Now, if you're floating in shadow, you'll start to freeze over time, but it could take minutes to hours before you're fully frozen. If you're exposed to direct sunlight though, you've got the opposite problem. You'll start to cook instead, because space has no atmosphere to filter out those delicious UV rays. So depending on your luck, you'll either freeze slowly, or bake like a turkey in a tanning bed. Basically, space doesn't care what temperature kills you, it just wants results. Number 4. Your saliva boils in your mouth. Here's a fun image, your spit turning into boiling bubbles while it's still in your mouth. No flames, no heat, just space being extra again. This is called ebolism, and it happens when liquids in your body vaporize due to the lack of atmospheric pressure. Space doesn't care if something's hot or cold. If it's a liquid and the pressure drops low enough, it's going to boil. That means your saliva, tears and moisture in your eyes and tongue will start bubbling. Your mouth won't be dry, it'll be fizzing like a haunted soda can. And don't get excited about the bubbles. You won't be tasting cherry cola. You'll be tasting raw panic and bad decisions. And it's not just your spit. The fluids in your skin and soft tissues start boiling too. Not enough to fully evaporate, but just enough to expand and puff you up like a Michelin man made of regret. By this point, you're unconscious, full of fizz and ballooning like an in-flight life vest. All of this in less than 30 seconds. Number three, you'll pass out in 15 seconds. So let's say you were smart and exhaled like a champ before getting sucked into the cosmic death vacuum. Good job, Gold Star. But here's the fun part. You've got about 15 seconds of consciousness left. Tops. Your brain runs on oxygen. No air, no fuel. It takes around 10 to 15 seconds for the remaining oxygen in your bloodstream to get used up. After that, it's lights out, game over, see you never. You won't black out dramatically like in a movie though. It's more like when your foot falls asleep and your brain decides to take a nap without asking. First comes confusion, then tunnel vision, then face planting into the void. Quiet, sudden, annoying. So if you were hoping for a dramatic last monologue while drifting among the stars, sorry, you're getting about two lines of dialogue before your neurons start filing for unemployment. And just to be clear, this is best case scenario. This is if you weren't already being shredded by solar radiation or swelling like a regret-flavored balloon animal. Consciousness is just the first thing you lose, then things get worse. Number two, holding your breath will kill you faster. Your instinct might be to hold your breath. Makes sense, right? No air in space, so trap some in and coast for a few seconds like an oxygen hoarder. Except, don't. Holding your breath in a vacuum is a death sentence. The pressure difference between your lungs and space will cause the air in your chest to violently expand, tearing your lung tissue. That's right, your lungs can literally burst like a soda can left in the sun. Instead, the only correct thing to do, if you ever find yourself suddenly ejected into the cold void of space, which, like, please don't, is to exhale immediately. Get that air out. Let your lungs collapse like the hopes of someone trying to microwave a metal fork. Otherwise, you're not just suffocating. You're suffocating while your chest cavity explodes. Multitasking, but make it lethal. So, yeah. In space, breathing equals complicated. You're better off with a spacesuit or, you know, staying inside the spaceship like a rational adult. Number one, you don't explode, but you'll wish you did. Let's bust a myth right out of the airlock. If you go into space without a suit, you will not explode like a meat balloon. Sorry to every sci-fi movie that made it look like someone popped a human zit in zero gravity. What actually happens is weirder, and somehow more horrifying. Space is a vacuum. There's no air pressure. Your body is used to one atmosphere of pressure pushing on you 24-7. Take that away and your insides are like, Oh cool, we're expanding now? Yes. Yes they are. But your skin is stretchy and weirdly good at holding stuff in. So instead of popping like a grape in a microwave, you swell up. Rapidly. Your body puffs up to about twice its size, like a sad human marshmallow. But the skin keeps everything mostly together. You'll look like a balloon animal gone horribly wrong. But exploding? Nope. Still, don't get too comfortable. Because while you're inflating like a marshmallow peep in the sun, the rest of your systems are about to have a full-on breakdown. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.